Hello everyone, my name is Marina Collette, and today we're going to be talking about how to solve one-dimensional kinematics equations. This is something you typically see in a physics class. The example problem. A dog accelerates uniformly from rest to a speed of 8.8 .8 meters per second over a distance of 33.6 meters. Determine the acceleration of the dog. So the very first thing that we do, would do in order to solve this problem is to identify our unknown and our known in the problem and assign them the relevant variables with, of course, the correct units. So now let's do this. Just for reference, here's the problem again. So what do we know? We know the initial velocity is zero because it says from rest, so we assume it starts from zero. We know the final velocity is 8.8 .8 because it says from rest to a speed of 8.8. .8. We know the distance is 33.6 meters, and then our unknown is what we're trying to solve for. So it says we're trying to solve for acceleration. Okay, our second step is to devise a plan. This is where we determine the correct equation out of the four to use for the given problem. So now let's do this, but first here's just a little reference of what our known and unknown variables are. Okay, let's look at this first equation. Vf, we know that. We know Vi. We're trying to solve for A, but we don't know T, so we can't use that equation. Let's look at the second one. Delta x, we know. Vi, we know. T, we don't know. So we can't have two unknown variables, so we can't use that one. Let's look at the second one here. Vf, we know. Vi, we know. A is what we're trying to solve for, and delta x we know. So this equation would work, but now just to make sure, let's see if the last equation would work too. We know delta x, we know vi, we know vf, but again, we don't know t, so we know we're going to have to be using the third equation here. Just check to make sure, yep, so we're going to be using the equation vf squared equals vi squared plus 2a times x. So now step three is where we actually execute the plan. So we're gonna plug in our known variables and solve for the unknown variable by using basic algebra. So now let's do this. Here, just to remember is our known variables, unknown, and our equation. So the very first thing we should do is to plug in our known variables. So Vf is 8.8, .8, and then in the equation says we have to square that. Our Vi is zero, and our equation says we have to also square this, and then plus 2a times 33.6 because that's our delta x. Next, we're going to simplify by squaring and multiplying. So 8.8 .8 squared is 77.44, and 0 squared is, of course, just 0. And then 2 times 33.6 is 67.2. The next step is just to rewrite without the 0 because it means nothing. Our last step is to do 77.4 divided by 67.2. This is going to get us our answer A, and once you do that, you're going to figure out that it equals about 1.152 meters per second squared. Remember those units. And then this is everything that I just went over. So now let's just do a quick check for understanding. A bus is traveling at 16.7 meters per second when it skids to a stop in a total of 3.67 seconds. Determine the skidding distance of the bus. Okay, everyone, pause the video here and try it for yourself. Okay, welcome back. Now I'm going to walk us through how to do this. So the very first step, as I hope you all remember, is to define the problem. This is where we're going to go over our unknown and our known variables. So, let's start with our known. We know time is 3.67 seconds. We know initial velocity is 16.7 meters per second. And we know the final velocity is 0 meters per second. And then what are we trying to solve for? We're trying to solve for displacement, delta x, really just the distance. Okay, step two is to then devise a plan. So let's look at these equations here and see which one we can use. Can we use Vf? We know that. Vi? We know. 
but A we don't know, so we can't use that equation, the first one. Let's look at the second equation. Delta x, what well, we're trying to solve for, vi, we know, time, we know, A, we don't know, therefore we cannot use this equation either. Let's look at the third one. V, F, we know, V, I, we know, but A, we don't know A. So we can't use the third equation either, so it must be the fourth equation. Just to make sure, let's check. Delta X, yep, that's what we're trying to solve for. V, I, we know, V, F, we know, and time, we know. So that is going to have to be the problem we use. So delta X equals 1 half times V, I plus V, F, all multiplied by T as in time. Now step three, let's actually execute the plan. So if you guys remember that the first thing to do is to plug in our known variables. So it looks something like delta x equals 1 half times 16.7, which is our initial velocity, plus 0, which is our final velocity, times 3.67, which is our time. Our next step is then to simplify by adding just the 16.7 plus 0, which should be easy math there, it's just 16.7. And now in order to find delta x, we're just going to multiply all three of those numbers together, which should get you about 30 30.645 meters. Hopefully that's what you guys got, and hopefully you guys learned something from this video. Thanks for watching.